All right, joining me now from the spin room in Miami, Florida Congressman Alan Grayson. Grayson's running for a seat in the U.S. Senate, has endorsed Bernie Sanders for president. Um, am, am I right, Congressman, that you took a poll of the voters in your district about who you should endorse? No, we took a national poll, Chris. We set up a website called graysonsurvey.com. We told both candidates about it when we announced it. Uh, we allowed people to vote for about two weeks, and the results came in. 400,000 people voted, more than Nevada and New Hampshire combined, more than South Carolina. And uh, the final vote was 84 to 16 in favor of Sanders. But what was most interesting was that we allowed people not just to vote, but to give reasons. And the reasons were fascinating. The fundamental reason why people were voting for Sanders is because they want deep fundamental change. They want somebody to address the effects of inequality in this country, whether you're talking about political or social or economic inequality, they want change. Uh, tonight, when, when uh, Sanders was pressed on the how, at one point, Karen Tumulty, I forget which, which question was, but she asked him a question. He said, well, you're describing the problem. What's the solution? And he said, the solution is a political revolution. And this has been uh, something that he said in response to a lot of things. What does that phrase actually mean to you? How do you understand it as a person who's running uh, a race, statewide office in Florida and is, if successful, going to go to a body that has a sort of de facto filibuster built in? Listen, we spend $3 trillion a year. The federal government spends $3 trillion a year, and our priorities are all screwed up. What Bernie Sanders is saying is that if we take the existing resources, the fact that we are the richest country in the world, the fact that we're the only major country in the world that does not have universal health care or does not have paid sick leave, and we simply reallocate the resources that are already being there through taxing and otherwise, then this all can happen. And well, we can but, have a $15 okay, dollar minimum wage. We can have Medicare for all. The advert, yes. the advert simply there is doing a tremendous amount of work. If we simply reorder the priorities of the American federal government, yeah, well, yes. I mean, <laughs> it, there's no magic wand to wave. There's a reason that the system is the way it is, particularly when you talk about, well, if we raise taxes to rates that European social democracies have, something which I think substantively on the merits makes a lot of sense, there's a reason we don't have that. <laughs> no, that's not really necessary. Look, uh, Bernie Sanders has pointed out that we spend more than any other country on the planet on our health care, 17 percent of our GNP. Nobody spends more than 13 percent in any other country. And yet we have 30 million people who can't see a doctor when they're sick. And our life expectancy is 50th, 50th in the entire world. So it's, it's not that we have to somehow tax and spend more. It's that we have to spend more wisely and we have to get more for our money. All right, Congressman Alan Grayson, candidate for Senate as well in that state. Thanks for taking the time to come on the show tonight. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right, we got more with our panel to uh, figure out what exactly got said tonight, what news got made. Don't go anywhere. Hi, everyone. My name is Mike. This is my YouTube page, Mox News. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, so uh, tonight's debate between Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders is now live. It's available on Alternate Mox News YouTube page. There is a clickable link in the text body of this video. So right below the video here, you'll find a, a, a link that says tonight's foreign language democratic debate. Um, Please, if you'd like to watch it, it was a pretty spirited debate. Uh, they really, I think Hillary Clinton was getting kind of flustered there for a little bit. So if you want to check that out, the entire debate is posted on Alternate Mox News YouTube page. There's a clickable link right below this video. Click it, it'll take you straight to that page where uh, Univision has already made a copyright claim, but they didn't block the video and they didn't make it a copyright violation, which means it looks like this debate is going to stick too. If, uh, if there's no problems with it in the morning, I'll upload it to another page, to the one where the other presidential debates are. But uh, for now, tonight, if you'd like to watch the debate between Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders in Miami on the foreign language speaking channel. Um, it's available and there's a clickable link right below this video in the text body of the video. It says tonight's foreign language debate, uh, democratic debate. So, or Democrats debate, I think it says. So, uh, go check it out. I think you might enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to post a couple more videos uh, with the uh, follow-ups. There's some pretty good. I got one with Grace, Alan Grayson coming up and the guy who made a Gaslands movie documentary. He's talking about fracking. Um, and one with uh, the sexiest congresswoman in Congress. She's a Bernie Sanders supporter.
So um, if you are enjoying Mox News work, my hard work, um, and you'd like to say thank you or show some support of some kind, it's easy to do. There's also a clickable link in the text body of the video to make a contribution to Mox News. It would be wonderful if you would buy me lunch. I really, really like lunch. And when you guys take um, a couple minutes out of your busy day to make sure that I get a nice lunch, it makes my day so much brighter. It makes it so much brighter. So. Thank you for that support. Um, it's because of you guys that Mox News or that I've been here on YouTube for 10 years posting videos, over 60,000 videos now. And um, and it's you guys that give it value. It's you guys that make it worthwhile. If it wasn't for you guys, if you weren't out here, the work would be completely meaningless. So I just have to thank you all. And... Uh, one of these days this war is going to end. Stay cool till that day.